Okay, so here's my review of my current radio, the Yaesu FT450. It's an HF transceiver, um, good from 160 meters up to 6 meters. The thing I like about it, and given I'm a brand new ham, I don't have a lot of space. I'm uh, basically set up in my room, and uh, I don't have an entire wall that I can dedicate to radio equipment. It's got a small little corner, and what I'd like to point out, again, is the size. Here's a standard sheet of paper. If you look, it's shorter than an entire sheet of paper, and <clears throat> it is not very tall at all. So, size, great. On to the features. Apparently, Yesu has made this after their FT2000, which is a contest radio. It has all the features, um, minus some of the filters, um, all packed into this little box. So, let's take a couple things that I use it for. So, I'm powering up. Okay. Um, one thing that people probably will complain and or not like, the knob. It is absolutely small. It is, well, small. Um, to me, I don't mind. I have no problem spinning it around. A lot of people don't like how small it is. It's the size of a bottle cap um, off, you know, a standard uh, two-liter bottle of soda. It's very, very tiny. Um, the other little knobs, uh, the AF gain, the squelch, uh, the DSP, and, you know, the bigger mover, um, they're all very small knobs. Um, sometimes I get in there and it's kind of annoying to turn them. Um, mainly because maybe the radio is not propped up and looking at me up in the air and I'm kind of reaching down against the table. Um, but past that, okay, the knobs are small, the radio works, however. So, uh, what I like about it, it does have built-in filtering. It's got contour. Uh, let's see if I can get that. Nah, don't think my camera's going to get it. Anyway, it's got... Contour, notch, uh, DNR, width, and shift. So I can go through. Let's see if I can find a station to listen to. Okay. So it does have some limited filtering. Um, I'm not entirely uh, a big fan of it. I don't use it that much. Um, but you can filter out some of the noise and um, seems useful uh, in the right situation for the most part uh, I don't use it um, notch it's got a small notch and that's good for CW if you're into uh, Morse code continuous wave um, DNR this I use now and then um, when I'm on 80 meters, 160 meters, just to cancel out some of the static um, when people have strong signals. And as you can hear, it, it brought down a lot of the static, and you can make out the station calling just a little bit better. Um, don't use it all too much. I, I don't mind the additional static. Uh, the width, how much. Um, it doesn't have a very broad range um, from what I've looked online. Again, I don't really, I really haven't gotten into all the features of the radio. I like it just the way it is. Um, so, let's see if I can find a good station to tune in on here. Okay, another feature. It has ATT and IPO, uh, basically attenuator. Um, and when I switch them on, it basically reduces the incoming signal by 20 dB. Um, I find I use this most often on 80 meters when I'm speaking locally and people have 40 and 50 over signals. Um, and just when I want to quiet down, just kind of listen only for strong signals. Um, again, don't use it too much just when I get up onto 80 meters. Um, it has AGC. Uh, basically, it tries and compensate for dipping and fading in the signal. Um, when you take it off, 
gets a lot louder, a lot more noise, um, so you're getting the raw signal. What that does is it quiets down a little bit and it tries to maintain and make it a little bit smoother for you to hear. Um, I kind of keep that on just because I don't like the raw uh, noise of what I'm picking up right off the air. Now the, uh, the radio is rated for 100 watts and there's no power knob on the front of it. Um, that's probably my biggest annoyance with the radio is the fact that I've got to function into my radio. I've got it already set up um, on the RF power for the menu. Come over, press another button. And now I've got my um, my watts out. Most of the time I just keep it on 100. I don't really have much need to change it, but now and then I like to either lower it or, you know, just kind of play with it. The fact that I have to go through two menus just to get to, you know, changing my power, a little bit annoying. Um, But for the most part, the radio makes a pretty strong um, impression on me. Uh, again, I don't have much experience um, with other radios. Um, but this radio, for me, it gets everything I need done. And uh, I really have no problems with it. Um, it works great. I, um, I've got it hooked up to my AT100 Pro Auto Tuner. And here's how I've got it hooked up. Uh, I've got my power going in, and I've got my antenna coming off the tuner. From my tuner, I've got my two different antennas, uh, a dedicated 20 meter uh, dipole, and then a 160 meter that I can tune down onto all the other bands. Um, they basically, my big antenna goes up to the attic, uh, and I have a ballon uh, 4 to 1 that goes to my ladder line. And the other one, I've got my ladder line coming right in the room, and I'm just using uh, this old MFJ uh, Versa tuner uh, to basically just uh, use the ballon inside of that for the time being until I can get a new one for my uh, secondary dipole. Uh, it's all powered by a 25-watt uh, a uh, continuous amp. Um, rarely does that even make a, a noise at me. It's um, a pretty solid setup from what I've uh, got going here. So in the back, it's got a data, um, a tuner, and a linear jack, as well as a um, serial port and an external speaker. Uh, I've got the ground hooked up as well. Don't really need it, but uh, just in case. Uh, the little fan in the back doesn't really make much noise. Uh, for example, I'm going to get to a clear frequency and turn the sound off. It really is barely making any noise. Um, very quiet radio. Even when transmitting, it only spins up a little bit more. Um, it does have a built-in feature when I was first playing around with the tuner and hadn't gotten it all figured out. Uh, it will stop transmitting when the SWR gets too high, little uh, antenna icon, um, basically just to protect the radio from damage. Um, granted, I'm a new ham. I've made a couple little mistakes, um, but nothing has caused any damage. Um, and again, I mean, it doesn't have all the features that you would get on a big radio. The knob is smaller. It doesn't have a little knob or button for everything. It does do a split. Um, I can split and do two different frequencies um, for calling and uh, receiving. And uh, those are easily changed too. Uh, there's a lock button so it won't spin. Uh, fast for going quickly through the band. Um, realistically, if you have any questions or maybe you're reading the manual for the radio because you're looking to get it and you have a question, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to go through and uh, play with that feature on the radio and uh, put a movie up for you. So that's all for now. Um, I must say I did get a... Uh, I finally got my, uh, my cards that I've been sending out now. So uh, if I ever hear you on the air, look for KC2UOO.